Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to solve and graph this given rational inequality in a step-by-step -step explanation. And here is our very first step. Make sure zero is on one side of this inequality and we indeed have a zero on the right hand side. That means we are in a good shape. Now let's focus on the numerator on the top part on the left hand side x square plus x minus 12 and this is quadratic so we can easily factor this one out. Let's go ahead and factor this top part which could easily be written as x plus 4 times x minus 3. So therefore, this inequality could be written as with the factored parts on the numerator x plus 4 times x minus 3 divided by x minus 1. And I am going to call this inequality as an I. I stands for inequality. And now in our next step, we are going to find the critical values. And by getting the critical values, we just need to set the numerator and the denominator equal to zero. And here is our, this inequality i. That means we are going to set these numerator parts and the denominator, all of them equal to zero. So that means this x plus four, we are going to equate equal to zero and we are going to equate x minus three equal to zero and x minus one equal to zero. Now let's go ahead and solve for x. This is going to give us x equal to negative four and here it's gonna give us x equal to positive three and here it is going to give us x equal to positive one. So these are our three critical points. And here is our real number line and we are going to locate these three critical values on this number line. So let's go ahead, let's, first is negative four. Negative four is right here. I'm gonna just put a dots on that one. And then we have positive three, x equal to positive three is right up here. And then we have x equal to positive one. And in our next step, we are going to put these critical values in our this inequality i. So now let's pick uh, this x equal to negative four value and here I wrote down put x equal to negative four value in this inequality i. And here is our inequality i. Let's go ahead and substitute x equal to negative four in this inequality. So wherever we see x, we are going to put uh, negative four plus four times negative four minus three divided by negative four minus one and we are going to find whether this statement is true or false as we can see over here negative four and plus four that's going to give us zero so zero means this on the left hand side this whole thing turns out to be zero isn't it zero time whole thing is zero is less than or equal to zero and we can see that this statement is is true so the true statement means that our x equal to negative four value we are going to put a solid circle over here and now we are going to check this x equal to three value and here i wrote down put x equal to three in this inequality that is right up here let's go ahead wherever we see x we are going to substitute by 3 so this is going to become simply 3 plus 4 times 3 minus 3 divided by 
3 minus 1 once again less than or equal to 0 and as we can see that this 3 minus 3 is going to give us 0 so 0 times this whole on the left hand side this fraction is going to become 0 is less than or equal to 0 that means this statement is indeed true so therefore this our point x equal to 3 is a valid point so that means at 3 we are going to put solid dot as well and now next we are going to look at x equal to 1 and here i wrote down put x equal to 1 in this inequality which is right here so that means wherever we see x we are going to replace by 1 so that is on the top become 1 plus 4 times 1 minus 3 divided by 1 minus 1 is less than or equal to 0 as we can see on the denominator 1 minus 1 is going to give us 0 and whenever we have a 0 at the denominator that gives us undefined that means that means since this is undefined that means this x equal to 1 is not a valid point so therefore at 1 we are going to put an open circle in our next step since we have these three critical values that means it's going to give us four region one is going to be on the left hand side of this negative four i'm going to call it this region a the one between negative four and one i am going to call this region b the one between one and three i am going to call this region c and finally the region to the right hand side of this three is going i'm going to call region d now in our next step we are going to pick test points in each and every region that means pick one point from each region let's focus on this region a first let's pick an easy point in this region and i think x equal to negative 5 is good candidate that's going to make our life simple and therefore i said over here put x equal to negative 5 in this inequality i and here is our inequality let's substitute x equal to negative 5 in this inequality so x is going to be replaced by negative 5 plus 4 times negative 5 minus 3 divided by negative 5 minus 1 and we're going to see whether this statement is true or false let's look at this one that is going to give us negative 1 times this is negative 8 divided by negative 6 isn't it now we can see on the top negative and negative when you multiply that is going to give us a positive sign we are only interested in signs not the numbers divided by this is a negative number which is less than or equal to zero once again we know that positive over negative is going to give us negative which is less than or equal to zero since this negative sign is less than or equal to zero that means this statement is true so that really means that our this region a is going to be true region now let's focus on this region b we are going to pick a point in this region and you can see that x equal to zero is going to be we are going to pick x equal to zero this time and here i wrote down put x equal to zero in this inequality which is right here for region b let's go ahead and substitute x equal to zero so this is going to become zero plus four times zero minus three divided by zero minus one 
and and this is less than or equal to zero and we can see that this on the top is going to become four times negative three divided by negative one is less than or equal to zero we are only interested in the signs on the top four times three is going to negative three is going to give us a negative sign negative 12 and the bottom we are going to have negative sign as well so that means when we have a negative and negative they divide and they become positive is less than or equal to zero and we can see now this positive cannot be less than or equal to zero that means this is a false statement therefore our region b is going to be false so that's the reason why we are going to rule out our region b and now let's focus on region c and we are going to pick one point from here and x equal to 2 is the point we are going to pick and here I wrote down, put x equal to 2 in this inequality, which is right here. Let's go ahead and substitute x equal to 2 value now. So this becomes 2 plus 4 times 2 minus 3 divided by 2 minus 1. And we're going to see whether this statement is true or false. On the top, we are going to have 6 times, this is going to become negative 1 divided by 1 which is less than or equal to 0 and we can see that uh, this negative 6 divided by 1 is negative 6 is less than or equal to 0 so that means this statement is true so therefore our region C is going to be true now let's focus on region d now and once again we are going to pick one point and this over here i am going to pick x equal to five and here i wrote down put x equal to five in this inequality which is right here let's go ahead and substitute x equal to five so that's going to become five plus four times 5 minus 3 divided by 5 minus 1. Let's see whether this statement is true or false. On the top, we are going to have positive sign, isn't it? 9, this is going to be a 9 times 2 divided by 4, which is less than or equal to 0. That means this whole thing on the left-hand side is positive sign isn't it positive is less than or equal to zero that means this statement is false so therefore our this region d is going to be false therefore we are going to rule out this region d and now let's look at our true regions so the a region is true that reason why i am going to shade that one that is going to go this side and this goes on the left hand side this is going to be negative infinity just keep in your mind and this side this is going to be positive infinity and the other part that is true is region c so i am going to shade that one as well and now let's focus on these shaded regions they are going to be our solutions so this region a is could be written as since this is a negative infinity we are going to put a parenthesis negative infinity comma since four negative four is included it's going to become the bracket so negative four and then we have a bracket and then let's focus on this another true region c and since this is a open circle we're going to put a parenthesis and three is going to be a bracket so that's could be written as this one as one comma 
3 with a bracket and since they are disjoint we are going to combine them by just putting a u in between them and here is our final product and you can see this is our final graph and here are our solution in terms of interval notations in terms of inequality notations and in terms of set notation as well you can pick any of these notations thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye